Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly with a review of the HTC Rime for Verizon. Now the Rime came out uh, maybe about 10 days or so ago, made a big splash as a phone that they said was kind of sort of targeted at women. And uh, you know, I don't know if it is or not, but let's go over the Rime, let's give it a good talking about. Now a very important thing about the Rime is not only do you get the phone when you buy it, but you get some pretty interesting accessories. First of all, uh, first of all the Rime comes comes with earphones. Not that many phones come with earphones anymore and these are supposed to be tangle free earphones so that if you jam them into a pocket and you pull them out they'll just spring right open without being all tangled. So it comes with earphones and it comes with some spare, um, I don't know what you want to call these, uh, ear seals so that uh, if you wear these out or if you lose them there's some spares. I think it comes with four spares. Now this is called a charm and you see it has a jack that plugs into the standard 3.5 millimeter audio jack. When you plug this in and you get a call or you get some other sort of notification, let's say you get a text message or uh, you've got a voicemail waiting, the charm will blink to let you know that you've received something. So uh, not only will your phone ring when you get a message, when you get a phone call, when you get a text, but your charm will start blinking and it won't stop blinking until you dig out the phone and turn it off. Now there may be a setting for it to go off after a period of time, I don't know about that, but when I've used it I've had to go into the phone and uh, acknowledge that I received something and then the charm would stop blinking. I'm going to actually show you how this works a little later on. So that plugs in here. Now you can't easily see this but the wire here is coated with a cloth. It's not just a rubber vinyl jacketed cable. It's a cloth jacketed cable. So that kinds of that adds a kind of interesting textile quality, tactile quality to this. I guess it's also a textile quality. So uh, that is the charm about which is written so much, has been written so much for the uh, um, the uh, rhyme. And also the rhyme comes with one last accessory. It comes with a docking station that the uh, phone itself goes into. Notice the three contacts here. Those mate with three contacts on the back. Now you, if you have this plugged in to a power source, that's a standard USB jack, a micro USB. If you have a micro USB power supply plugged into that, you put your phone in, it'll automatically switch over to a tabletop display that has a big clock and some other features. I will also demonstrate this a little later on as well. But right now I just want to talk about the phone itself. The HTC Rime is, as far as features are concerned, it's more of a midline phone than a highline phone. It has a 3.7 inch diagonal LCD display with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. It runs Android 2.3.4. Internally, it's powered by a 1 gigahertz single core processor, not a dual core processor, but it does have 768 megabytes of RAM. So with the modern current model 1 gigahertz processor and the 768 megabytes of RAM, it does move along pretty quickly. Internally, it has four gigabytes of storage. However, a lot of that storage is used for the operating system. So only one gigabyte is available. And uh, it comes with an eight gigabyte micro SD card. You can see on the front that it has a front facing camera. I think this is a VGA front facing camera. But if you see the graphic that says something differently here, it's because I looked it up and changed what that uh, actually is. On the back, it's got a 5 megapixel still image camera with an LED flash. It can also do 720p HD video. Now, a very interesting thing about the uh, Rime is that although you can get the back cover off like that, you can get at the SD card, you can't remove the battery. It has a 1600 milliamp hour battery and the battery is not removable. So if you have an issue with the battery, you're going to have to take your phone back in or send it to HTC to get the battery replaced or your phone replaced. So since this is a Verizon 3G phone, that's another point. This is a 3G phone, not a 4G phone. There is no SIM card. Verizon's 3G does not require a SIM. So we'll put the back cover back on here. The Rime has HTC's new Sense 3.5 user interface. All of the versions of Sense from 3.0 and newer 
have uh, a feature that I like a lot, which allows you to just go around and around in the same direction, and you don't have to worry about getting to the end and then backing up and coming back. You don't have to worry about which page you're on, and oh, I'm on uh, you know page two left, and I've got to get back to the main page. You can just keep going around and around, and eventually you'll come back to the main page. That's the main page that it comes up with. Another fun feature of Sense 3.0 and newer is that you can just flick across it, and it'll do this barrel roll, and it comes back to the page where you started. So I like that a lot. Now when I got the uh, Rhyme up and running, I put in it my uh, friend stream information. In other words, I just went to Facebook and put that in there, logged into my Facebook account. So now you can see I've got some people in there. If I go to my people page, it automatically, when I went to uh, loaded my Google account, it automatically put my Google contact information, my phone contact information in there. Another thing that the, they've made a big deal about here with the Rhyme is the Rhyme comes with this Endomondo uh, feature which helps you uh, track your exercise regimen. So if you want to keep track of your exercise that's uh, provided here by this Endomondo app that comes on the uh, HTC Rhyme. So these are all fun features. Now I want to do some of the things that I usually do when I uh, work on a cell phone. I run some standard benchmark tests and we're going to go ahead and see what the results of those benchmark tests are. I'm going to start first with Quadrant. I'm going to run the full benchmark and I'll come back to the uh, phone here when the benchmark is ready to wrap up. This is the last visual test that's part of Quadrant and I'm going to go ahead and ask it to give me the scores. And here you go, here are the scores for Quadrant. The Rhyme got 1,544, 1544. That really is a pretty good score for Quadrant. There's nothing to be ashamed of with that. You can see that everything else on the chart, uh, the Rhyme outscored everything else. Okay, I thought that that was a pretty darn good result. Now I'm going to go to SmartBench. I'm going to do the standard SmartBench series of tests. This is SmartBench 2011. And we'll go ahead, sorry, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll turn off the camera for now and we'll come back when it's about ready to wrap up. This is the last of the visual tests as part of SmartBench and it will shortly be asking me if I want the scores. And of course I do. Okay, we finally got the scores, and this says that now, of course, a SmartBench has two scores that it comes up with. One is the Productivity Index, that's green, and the other is the Games Index, that's red. So for Productivity, the uh, Rhyme got 994, uh, that's 994, and for Games, it got 1,511, 1511. So uh, it's probably a little bit better phone to play games on than it is to crunch numbers. But, uh, you know, those are kind of typical for a midline single core phone nowadays, and that is, of course, what the Rhyme is. Now, uh, you're going to say that, hey, it's only got a 3.7 inch screen, that, uh, you know, how, how well can you play games on something like that? Keep in mind that just yesterday, Apple made its big announcement about the new Apple iPhone 4S. And heck, the iPhone 4S has a 3.5 inch screen. It's got an even smaller screen. It's higher resolution, but it's even smaller. So a, a 3.7 inch screen is perfectly good for playing games if that's what you enjoy doing. So let's go back to the main page. Now, those of you who have seen my reviews here on Wirefly, you know that I like to test the camera pretty extensively. So I ran some tests of the camera. First of all, I set up a little still life on my desk. Now I did this two different ways. I had a powerful television light in my cubicle area. So I set it up, I pointed it at my still life, and I took a picture with the powerful light. So here's the still life with the strong light. And uh, here's the same still life when I turned the light off. And, you know, I didn't see a heck of a lot of difference. Now, I went in for a close-up, again, with the light on, the strong TV light on, and I then turned the light off and did more or less the same kind of close-up. Now, when the TV light is on, you can see that the red, green, and blue pin heads, that those have a glint of light coming from them, from the strong light. And when I turn that light off, that glint goes away. But otherwise, the color balance is still pretty much about the same. There's a little more noise when the, the uh, light is turned off, and that's to be expected because there's less light. When you have less light, you have more noise. But uh, all in all, I thought that was a very good um, uh, you know, photographic result 
from these tests, both in, in relatively bright light and in relatively dim light. Another test that I like to do is to take some flesh tone tests and I ask my coworkers Luis and Jen to pose for me and here they are and I thought that this was a very good picture except for one thing. I thought that the contrast and the sharpness were excellent among the best I've ever seen in cell phones. However, there's an overall greenish cast that I don't like. Now if you're familiar with Photoshop or some other photo processing software you could get that greenish cast out of there. But if you're not familiar with one of those or if you don't have the time you just want to take a snapshot and upload it, well this was a shot I took using the camera's built-in LED flash and it came out kind of greenish. Other than that greenish cast I like it a lot. Then I took the phone outside and I shot some HD video with it. Remember this does 720p HD video and here's the result of that video that I shot. This is video from the HTC Rime for Verizon and uh, it's a partly sunny day out here. It's been a damp and dreary September but at least there's a bit of blue sky today and I'm looking around. There's just a little bit of wind and some road noise that you get here at the Wirefly campus, so maybe that'll let us know if the wind noise plays havoc with the microphone. Really not much wind at the moment, there's a bit of breeze. That's the Wirefly building right there, and we'll uh, tilt this down to see how it does with the grass. In the monitor screen, which I can see, it's not overly bright, but I can see it, the grass looks very green. And that's an example of 720p HD video from the HTC Rhyme. As you could see, the audio was okay, nothing special, but the video was overly contrasty and I wasn't really pleased with the video. It was clear enough, but uh, the, the camera, the iris in the camera is adjusting itself uh, in a way that, that I felt just had made a picture that was way too contrasty and I wasn't really pleased with the quality that it made. That's the results that I got. Now we've got an awful lot in this review. In fact, there's so much that we need to break it up into two reviews. So this will be the end of part one and coming up next will be part two of Wirefly's review of the HTC Rhyme.